what's up? up here, the most electrifying man in YouTube entertainment. It's 3 o'clock. It's Friday. I'm in the do up workshop. Let's talk Lucha Underground. Hell yeah! Lucha Underground. Every Wednesday, 8 p.m. on the L Ray Network. And well, as most of you guys know, right now, Lucha Underground is in Ultima Lucha Trace. Ultima Lucha Trace is the culmination of the Lucha Underground season. And well, it's so big that Ultima Lucha Trace is a four-part series. This week, we saw part number two. This week, we saw action. This week, we saw unique opportunities. This week, we saw matches with stipulations. This week, we saw luchadors returning to the temple. This week was badass. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get set to get to moving. Talking Lucha Underground, Ultima Lucha, Trace. As for mentioned, Do Up and said that we saw unique opportunities. That's right. And well, the first match in Ultimate Lucha Trace this week was for that ultimate opportunity. Now, of course, because Dario Cueto runs things, we don't know what this ultimate opportunity is until we get a winner. And well, the winner of this match is the winner of a Lucha Underground Battle Royal. That's right, if you can survive the over-the-top Battle Royal here in Ultima Lucha Trace, you're gonna be the winner of the Ultimate Opportunity. So real quick, let's run down the list of all the Luchadors that were in this match. So check it out here, guys. I wrote them all down. Every Luchador that was in this match, I wrote it down right here so you would know who was in. Let's real quick run them through. <clears throat> Joey Ryan, the Darewolf, PJ Black, Ricky Mundo, not yet, not Johnny Mundo, Ricky Mundo. Uh, uh, Vinny Massaro, The Mac, Mascarita Sagrada, Arhenis, Mala Suerte, Saltador, Paul London, Cortez Castro, Son of Madness. Yeah, that's right, not Son of Havoc, Son of Madness. All right, moving on. And making his slash her. I'm not real sure. Return to the temple was Pimpinella Escalata. Boy, I hope I said that right. Either way, this very flamboyant man, dressed like a drag guy, uh, come down the ring ready for action. You know what? It's Lucha Underground, man. I'm into it. This battle royal kicks off as any battle royal would. Complete and utter madness. But as we saw Luchadors getting thrown over the top, left and right, Vinny Massaro for First one out. Mascarita Sagrada eliminated Joey Ryan and Cortez Castro. I told you this was madness. At the end, came down to the Darewolf, PJ Black, and the Mac. Let's go, Mac. Let's win this, baby. He's probably one of my favorite luchadors in Lucha Underground. Rock solid for the Mac. Darewolf, PJ Black, the Mac in the ring, and it ends up with a little bit of a Stone Cold Stunner to the Darewolf, PJ Black, and they get his ass tossed right over the top. That's right, too. I'm super pumped that the Mac won the Battle Royal. The Mac wins the ultimate opportunity. What's the ultimate opportunity? Well, we found out. That's right. Dario Cueto come out his office, microphone in hand. Boom. And he's like, so you won the ultimate opportunity, Mac. Well, what you got, what you won is a match next week, Ultima Lucha Trace Part 3, where you will have a shot at Trio's Championship. Dario, what the hell is that, man? The Mac isn't in a trios team, but now the Mac and two mystery partners are going to get a shot at the Snake Tribe, Vibora, Pindar, and Drago, led by Cobra Moon. So uh, Dario Cueto, back with the mic, is like, and your partners in this trios match for trios gold will be... The two guys that beat the over the shit out of each other last week in the Hell of War match, Killshot and Dante Fox. What is happening? Is this real life? The Mac, Killshot, and Dante Fox versus the Snake Tribe, Vindora, Pindar, and Drago led by Cobra Moon? Next week, Ultima Lucha Trace, heating up hot, baby. You know, Pimpinella Escarlata, I hope I, again, I hope I said that right, wasn't the only returning luchador to Ultima Lucha Trace last night. That's right. The baddest bitch in the building is back. Eva Lise. That's right. She's been out for quite a while. But at the beginning of season three, she challenged Katrina to a match at Ultima Lucha Trace. If you guys don't know it, Ultima 
Lucha and Ultima Lucha Dose, Katrina costed Ivelisse her match twice. So at the beginning of season three, Ivelisse was pissed. She challenged Katrina to a match immediately at Ultima Lucha Trace. Well, that match just went down. Katrina in her debut in the ring, man. Katrina is not a wrestler. She's only been out there controlling Mil Muertes with that rock. You guys know that. She's not a wrestler. Well, she is now. She made her in-ring debut in this match against the returning Ivelisse. As expected, Ivelisse starts hot, man, beating the ever-living crap out of Katrina. Katrina actually ran and hid. Hid inside Dario Cueto's office. Dario Cueto's in there, feet up on the desk. Katrina locks herself inside. When Ivelisse finally gets the door open she walks through Katrina's waiting there with a beer bottle bashes it over her head they're outside now on the floor of the arena next to the ring two more glass bottles bam bam over Eva Lisa's head Eva Lisa is busted open bleeding everywhere now we're at the top of the temple where these two are beating each other through the crowd Eva Lisa spewing blood Katrina no idea what to do she's running from Eva Lisa who's kicking her ass back in the ring these two are killing each other man spears spine busters Double underhook suplexes. These guys were going after it until it came down to a struggle over that rock. Yeah, Katrina went for it. She grabbed it on the ring apron. Ivelisse got a hold of it. Now they're struggling over it. Ivelisse gets the upper hand on Katrina. Has got that rock. Cracks her in the head. Gives her the step up DDT. And one, two, three. Ivelisse gets her first Ultima Lucha win. Hell yeah, Ivelisse. This is awesome. This is awesome. But I'm afraid I got some bad news for Ivelisse. In her celebratory Ultima Lucha win. Jeremiah Crane, mm -hmm, ex-boyfriend, comes running down the ring with a hammer and attacks Ivelisse. That's right. Takes her out hard, beating her knee, man. Don't think we're going to see Ivelisse anytime soon. Last match of the night! Hair versus mask! Hair versus mask! Hair versus mask! We had Phoenix putting his mask on the line. If he loses, he's taking it off. He's going one-on-one -on -one with Marty the Moth Martinez. And if he loses, it's buzzer time! That's right. It's the hair versus the mask. Take the mask off or shave the head. And well, you know, that's the stipulation of the match. But really, when it boils down to it, Marty the Moth has been after Phoenix's girlfriend, Melissa Santos, the ring announcer, the wonderful Melissa Santos. Yeah, her and Phoenix have got a little mm -mm 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 going on. And Marty the Moth is over there in the corner like, Oh, come on, baby. I like you. I want you. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh, oh. Ah! So with all that animosity on the line, we've got ourselves a match with a stipulation of the hair versus the mask. And well, this match gets underway and Phoenix is hot. He's delivering the heat. And then Mariposa interferes. Oh man, that's right. Because Marty the Moth brought his sister ringside. He brought Mariposa with him for this reason. That's right. Here we go. Phoenix back on top. Getting the upper hand again. And oh, Mariposa again interferes. Knocking him off the top rope when he was perched. Ready to move. Phoenix! Phoenix back on the move, sees Marty the Moth on the outside. Here he goes for the running, uh, crazy flip over the top rope, suicide dive. What does Marty the Moth do? Drags Mariposa right in the way. Phoenix takes out Mariposa. What's Mariposa do? I'm out of here, Marty the Moth. Screw you. That's right. Peace out. I'm going home, man. That's right. You got this. You got it. You'll be all right. Eat it. Yeah. Marty the Moth now on his own. But you know what? Marty the Moth is crafty. He's good. That's right. And he ended up tearing at Phoenix's mask, man. He wanted it off. He's beating Phoenix up good. He's tearing at the mask. Then he picks him up and gives him this, like, front face kind of a bomb of sorts, land in Phoenix's face right on the exposed metal ring where the ring post pad should be. Phoenix busted open everywhere. I mean, he he does one of these, and the blood's just pouring right down his... It's, it's, uh, it looked like a faucet, man, like whoop, 
Shut that off, baby. But no, that blood was coming out. He was busted good. Didn't stop him at all. Hell no. Phoenix is one badass motherfucker, man. Holy rolling jump up cutter on the ring apron. Taking out Marty the Moth. Nailed him with a huge five-star frog splash off the top rope, too. Then he gets Marty with a Spanish fly off the top rope. That blood wasn't stopping Phoenix. Probably only got his blood pumping more, man. He wants it. He wants that win. It's on to Malucha Trace, baby. Phoenix is on fire. Well, that's where all the fun stopped. That's right, yeah, because uh, Marty the Moth, yep. Mm -hmm. He delivered this curb stop that just ruined Phoenix, man. Phoenix was out. Phoenix was down. Marty the Moth is deranged. And he goes over and he and he gets that little lunchbox that he's got in the corner. And he, and he opens up the lunchbox and what's he pull out? A pair of scissors. And he's got a pair of scissors, and then he gets down. Let me get this out. He gets down, and he's got the scissors in Phoenix's throwing. And then Melissa Santos, of course, that's her boyfriend. She's up on the ring apron, and she's like, Marty the Moth, oh, don't do it. Oh, don't kill him. Don't murder him here in front of everybody. Oh, Lord, guess what? I love you. Yeah, me and you, yeah, we're going to run away together. Yay, Melissa Santos, Marty the Moth, I love you. Yeah, Phoenix, he's stupid. Marty the Moth takes the bait. He walks over. He gets Melissa Santos, drags her inside the ring. Ah! Ah! Marty the Moth has got Melissa Santos like this on either side of her hair. And he's like, ah! Melissa Santos, bitch slaps that motherfucker. And then right in the wing wing, yeah! Phoenix, back to his feet, came running and delivered his knee to the back of Marty the Moth said that probably clean gave him four concussions at once. Marty the Moth is down and Phoenix is on the top rope. Woo! 450 splash! One, two, three! Phoenix is your winner of the hair first mask match Ultima Lucha Trace. Yeah, that's right. We are in celebratory now as Phoenix is one. He does not have to take his mask off, though we all know what he looks like now. If you watched the match, you would see him when Marty tore his mask. He'd be might as well have just taken it off. We all know what you look like, buddy, but don't worry. We love you anyway. It's time to cut that motherfucking Marty the Moth's hair off. And well, he's like, guess what, guys? I'm out. Peace out. That's it, this hair, not going anywhere. I'm out of here, guys. Peace out. And uh, whoa, he turned around, guess who's right behind him? Mariposa with a steel chair. Eat it, yeah, boom. Over the head of Marty the Moth. Then she handcuffs him to the fucking railing where the audience is. Both sides, he can't move. Well, Phoenix, Melissa Santos, Walked right up those steps into the audience. The believers are going nuts as Phoenix and Melissa take Marty the Moth to Slamtown and shaving up on his head, man. What an ending to Ultima Lucha Trace Part 2. I'm out of breath. And all I did was talk about it. That was everything that happened this week on Lucha Underground, man. Ultima Lucha Trace rolls on next week with part three. If you guys aren't watching, the only person you're fucking is yourself because this shit is great. Lucha Underground, Wednesday, 8 p.m. on the L Ray Network. Do Up will be watching. I sure as hope you will too. As for now, Do Up, see my watch? Right there, it says I'm out of time. Gotta get to moving. Like the video. Leave the comments if you haven't done it already. Subscribe for some more fucking Do Up. Yeah!